What's cracking, indie friends? It's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie, and today we are taking a look at Kraken Academy. This is a narrative-driven adventure game with a bit of dating sim elements thrown in for good measure, and you are playing as a young boy who is starting out at a new school with his sister, who apparently hates his guts. This is no ordinary school, however, which you will very quickly see as you enter the dilapidated campus. There are all manners of mythical creatures and kind of just general chaos happening around you at all times, but the only sort of organization you you will find here is that you are able to enter into one of the clubs at this school. There is the music club where you can join a band, there is the art club, there's the sports club, and there's the elite drama club, which is where your sister is. Oh yeah, and did I mention the kraken that lives in the school lake and tells you what to do because you have just a few short days to save the school as you know it? Yeah. Obviously, a few days is not a whole lot of time, but fear not, you receive a magical amulet from said kraken that allows you to time travel, so you can relive these days a few times. I don't want to spoil too much for you about how all of that plays out, but let me just say things get weirder and weirder the further you get into this game. Definitely suspend your disbelief, this one is not a realistic title by any stretch of the imagination. And let's talk a little bit about how you play this one. Most of the time, you're going to be walking around and exploring as the character which you get to name. You can collect bottles which are converted into currency by recycling them, super eco-friendly. You can then use those recycled bottles to purchase decorative items for your dorm room, and that's probably the most normal thing in this entire game, which is not saying much. When you're not exploring the campus, you're going to be interacting with the students and faculty there. Each person that you interact with has little bits of information which you can collect, so every time you come across someone new, it's always in your best interest to interact with them. Most of the time, you will have dialogue options while interacting with these folks, and some of those are important to what happens in the story. Now, you may remember that time travel feature I mentioned a little bit earlier, and yes, if you travel back in time, you do maintain your inventory, but you do have to reintroduce yourself to the folks on campus. Kraken Academy does have a day and night cycle, but you are able able to advance the passage of time either by sleeping in your bed or by calling home and talking to your mom, which Oh my god, the accuracy. You will also find there are a number of quick time events, which are often performed just by pressing X at the right time. There are also some occurrences where you will have to mash X, and at the beginning of the game, they give you the option as to whether you want to play on easy or normal. I opted for normal and didn't find it to be incredibly difficult, but if you have a difficult time mashing buttons or you'd rather just play through for the story, easy is an option for you. I also just wanted to briefly touch on the side quests, in addition to your main mission, you can accomplish optional side quests along the way. Some of these will benefit your relationships with the other students or the faculty. Not in that way, don't make it weird. But you can access these missions as well as your main mission and inventory at any point in the game using your inventory button, which is why if you're playing on the Nintendo Switch. Kraken Academy's tentacles don't span incredibly far in that it's not a super long title. It will really depend on how many of those side quests you try to complete and how many items you want to collect. A single playthrough could take you anywhere from about four to maybe about eight hours. In a game like this, you really have to know what you're signing up for. It's going to be completely absurd. The dialogue is a little bit juvenile because you are playing as a student after all, so it really makes total sense. It's a little bit silly, it's completely over the top, but it is a fun read through. I wasn't super wild about the quick time events. They were fine, they weren't incredibly challenging as I said before, but they're not all that interesting either. I could have used a little bit more variety there, but I did like the side quest aspect, particularly the dates that you get to go on. They are so absurd, but in the best possible way. And I'm not even a dating sim person. That usually doesn't do anything for me, but it was so completely over the top and hilarious that 
It made me smile. Graphically, Kraken Academy takes the pixel art route, which I think works really well here. It's very charming, and it has this overlay of anime style profiles of the different characters, so you get that perspective of them as well. Menus are tidy and easy to navigate, and I really like the overall aesthetic of this game. It's colorful, it's bizarre, it's basically exactly what you're signing up for when you play a game where a Kraken lives at a school and you can talk to Broccoli. The soundtrack fits this aesthetic as well. You get a lot of tracks that wouldn't sound out of place in an anime or an RPG. While the game isn't fully voice acted, you do get little glimpses into what these characters would sound like at the beginning of dialogue, and I thought that was helpful in kind of getting a general sense of who these characters are and what they would sound like without having to fully use my imagination. In general, even though I wouldn't normally pick up a dating sim, this one had enough absurdity and chaos going on in it that I was still intrigued as a lover of the bizarre and unusual in games. Gameplay is easy to understand and highly approachable. You have the option to go on easy difficulty with the quick time events if that's not your thing. While I feel like sometimes time travel in games can become complicated or make the story hard to follow, this one is very straightforward even despite its complete chaos of actual content. I'd recommend this title to you if you are just looking for a short break from the reality that is the world today, something that does not take itself too seriously seriously by any stretch of the imagination, or perhaps if you just need some more broccoli in your diet. I don't know. <laughs> so will you be releasing the Kraken? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I go, I just want to thank our indie warriors, Bill T, Christian Cruz, Kevlo, Adriana Amato, CJR, Julian Colbus, Jesse, CPM, Raylin, Marky Mint, Dave Harp, Peekaboo, Lex Noyle, PSC, Carmen Red, King of the Hatch, and Blue Francis, and our indie legends, Chris Jackson, Jen Rose, Larkison, Mitchell Hall, Eric, Peach, Skeptism, Sea Coil, and Nathan Moore. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget you can subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our reviews or previews, and check out the description box if you'd like to see how to become an indie warrior or indie legend yourself. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.